Welcome to the part 2 of 2020 grade 3, MTAP Math Challenge. Elimination Round. Please subscribe to the channel for more MTAP Math Challenge reviewers. Thank you. Question number 11. The perimeter of a square is 36 meters. What is its area in square centimeters? Again. The perimeter of a square is 36 meters. What is its area in square centimeters? Solution. Perimeter of square equals side plus side plus side plus side. Equals 4s. Perimeter of square is equal to 36 meters. Let's find the measurement of each side of the square. 36 meters divided by 4 sides equals 9 meters. Each side equals 9 meters. Now, let's find the area in square meters. Area of square equals side times side. Equals s squared. Each side is 9 meters. Area equals s times s. Equals 9 meters times 9 meters. Area equals 81 square meters. Now, let's convert square meters to square centimeters. 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. 1 square meter equals 10,000 square centimeter. The area is equal to 81 square meters. 81 square meters is equal to 10,000 times 81. 10,000 times 81 is equal to 810,000 square centimeters. Answer, 810,000 square centimeters. Question number 12. Draw the next three figures in the pattern. Again. Draw the next three figures in the pattern, circle, square, square, triangle, 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 circle, 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 square, 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 blank, blank, blank. Solution. The order of the figures is from circle to square to triangle, and from 1 to 2 to 3 and so on. In the pattern, there are 1 circle, 2 squares, 3 triangles, 4 circles, 4 squares, and 3 blanks. There are only 4 squares in the pattern. It should be 5 squares. So, the first missing figure is a square. After the square is a triangle. The next missing figures are 5 triangles. But, there are only 2 blanks so. Just put 2 triangles. Answer, 1 square and 2 triangles. Question number 13. Find the value of square if, 5 times square, plus 12 equals 127. Again. Find the value of square if, 5 times square, plus 12 equals 127. Solution. Let's perform reverse operation. 5 times square, plus 12 equals 127. First, subtract 12 from 127. 127 minus 12 equals 115. Second, divide 5 from 115. 115 divided by 5 equals 23. 23 is the value of square. Let's check. 5 times 23, plus 12 equals 127. 5 times 23 is equal to 115. 115 plus 12 equals 127. 127 equals 127. Answer, 23. Question number 14. A box of fried chicken costs 118. I gave the cashier 500 to buy three boxes. How much change, in pesos, should I get? Again. A box of fried chicken costs 118. I gave the cashier 500 to buy 3 boxes. How much change, in pesos, should I get? Solution. 1 box of fried chicken equals 118 pesos. 3 boxes of fried chicken equals N. Let's find how much 3 boxes of fried chicken costs. 3 times 118 equals 354 pesos. 3 boxes of fried chicken equals 354 pesos. I gave the cashier 500 pesos. Let's subtract 354 from 500. 500 minus 354 equals 146 pesos. 146 pesos is the change. 
Answer, 146 pesos. Question number 15. One day, Myrna left her house at 7 a.m. She dropped by the market for 15 minutes, the pharmacy for 11 minutes, and the church for 37 minutes. She arrived at the office at 8.43 a.m. If the rest of the time was spent traveling between these places, how many hours did she spend traveling between these places? Again. One day, Myrna left her house at 7 a.m. She dropped by the market for 15 minutes, the pharmacy for 11 minutes, and the church for 37 minutes. She arrived at the office at 8.43 a.m. If the rest of the time was spent traveling between these places, how many hours did she spend traveling between these places? Solution Myrna left her house at 7 a.m. She arrived at the office at 8.43 a.m. From 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. is 60 minutes. From 8 a.m. to 8.43 a.m. is 43 minutes. It took Myrna 103 minutes to travel from her house to her office. She dropped by the market for 15 minutes, the pharmacy for 11 minutes, and the church for 37 minutes. Let's add. 15 minutes plus 11 minutes plus 37 minutes equals N. 15 plus 11 plus 37 equals 63 minutes or 1 hour and 3 minutes. Let's find the time spent traveling between these places. Subtract 63 minutes from 103 minutes. 103 minutes minus 63 minutes equals N. 103 minutes minus 63 minutes equals 40 minutes. Let's find. How many hours did she spend traveling between these places? 40 minutes equals 40 minutes over 1 hour. Or 40 minutes over 60 minutes. 40 over 60 or 2 thirds hour. Answer, 2 thirds hour. Question number 16. Arrange these fractions in increasing order, 13 24, 5 12, 1 3rd, 1 half. Again. Arrange these fractions in increasing order, 13 24, 5 12, 1 3rd, 1 half. Solution. To arrange these fractions in increasing order. First we find the LCM of the denominators of the fractions to make the denominators same. The denominators are, 24, 12, 3, and 2. Steps to find least common multiple by using division method. Step 1, write the given numbers in a horizontal line. Step 2, divide them by a suitable prime number, which exactly divides at least two of the given numbers. Step 3, we put the quotients directly under the numbers in the next row. If the number is not divided exactly, we bring it down in the next row. Step 4, we continue the process of step 2 and step 3 until all co-prime numbers are left in the last row. Step 5, we multiply all the prime numbers by which we have divided and the co-prime numbers left in the last row. This product is the least common multiple of the given numbers. Let's find the LCM of 24, 12, 3, and 2. We multiply all the prime numbers by which we have divided and the co-prime numbers left in the last row. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 24. This product is the LCM of the given numbers. 24 is the LCM. Now to make the fraction as like or similar fractions. Divide the LCM you determined by the original denominator. Then multiply the numerator and the denominator of each fraction by this number. The denominators should now both be equal to the LCM. 13 24 will still be 13 24. 5 12 will be 10 24. 1 3rd will be 8 24. 1 half will be 12 24. Now, we compare the like fractions. Comparing numerators, we find that 8 24 to 10 24 to 12 24 to 13 24. Therefore, the increasing order of the fractions is 1 3rd, 5 12, 1 half, and 13 24. Answer, 1 3rd, 5 12, 1 half, and 13 24. Question number 17. Matthew and Mark are both seated in a table with their friends. 
Matthew is the fifth person to Mark's right while also being the eighth person to Mark's left. How many are seated around the table? Again, Matthew and Mark are both seated in a table with their friends. Matthew is the fifth person to Mark's right while also being the eighth person to Mark's left. How many are seated around the table? Solution Matthew is the fifth person to Mark's right while also being the eighth person to Mark's left. Let's find, how many are seated around the table. There are four people between Mark and Matthew to the right. There are seven people between Mark and Matthew to the left. Let's add. 4 plus 7 plus Mark plus Matthew equals 13 people. Answer, 13. Question number 18. Tom and Jerry collect bottles from their neighborhood. One day, Jerry collected two more than twice what Tom collected. Together they collected 50 bottles. How many bottles did Jerry collect? Again. Tom and Jerry collect bottles from their neighborhood. One day, Jerry collected two more than twice what Tom collected. Together they collected 50 bottles. How many bottles did Jerry collect? Solution. Let. X equals number of bottles Tom collected. 2x plus 2 equals number of bottles Jerry collected. 50 equals total number of bottles collected. Let's perform reverse operation of this equation. X plus, 2x plus 2, equals 50. 3x plus 2 equals 50. Since Jerry collected 2 more than twice what Tom collected. Let's subtract 2 from 50. 50 minus 2 equals 48. Then divide, 48 divided by 3 equals x. 48 divided by 3 equals 16. 16 is number of bottles Tom collected. Let's find, how many bottles did Jerry collect? We know that. X equals 16 is number of bottles Tom collected. 2x plus 2 equals to the number of bottles Jerry collected. Let's solve. 2x plus 2 equals n. 2 16 plus 2 equals n. 2 times 16 equals 32. 32 plus 2 equals 34. 34 is the number of bottles Jerry collected. Let's check. X plus, 2X plus 2, equals 50. 16 plus 34 equals 50. Answer, 34 bottles. Question number 19. For this question refer to the bar graph showing the number of t-shirts that Nina has sold over the past week. On the three days she sold the most of shirts, how many shirts did she sell? Again, for this question refer to the bar graph showing the number of t-shirts that Nina has sold over the past week, on the three days she sold the most of shirts, how many shirts did she sell? Sunday, 90. Monday, 60. Tuesday, 70. Wednesday, 80. Thursday, 75. Friday, 95. Saturday, 105. Solution. The three days where she sold most shirts are Sunday equals 90 Friday equals 95 Saturday equals 105 Let's find, how many shirts did she sell? Let's add, 90 plus 95 plus 105 equals 290 shirts Answer, 290 shirts Question number 20 See bar graph from number 19 the average of a set of numbers refer to their sum divided by number of add ends. What is the average number of shirts per day that Nina sold last week? Express your answer as an improper fraction. Again, the average of a set of numbers refer to their sum divided by number of add ends. What is the average number of shirts per day that Nina sold last week? Express your answer as an improper fraction. Solution. Let's find the average number of shirts per day Nana sold last week. Let's add the number of shirts Nana sold each day. Sunday plus Monday plus Tuesday plus Wednesday plus Thursday plus Friday plus Saturday equals N. 90 plus 60 plus 70 plus 80 plus 75 plus 95 plus 105 equals 575. Let's express the answer as an improper fraction. 575 equals number of shirts Nana sold each day. 7 equals number of days last week. 
575 over 7. Answer, 575 over 7. Thank you for watching. Please watch more math challenges on my channel. Subscribe for more.